For the first time in my career as a professional deer stalker, and most likely in a first for most of us, there has been a significant amendment to the 1996 Deer Act, which makes some important changes to UK deer stalking legislation. The legislative amendments to the Deer Act will affect Scotland only and come into effect on the 21st of October and 1st of November. The amendments are as follow. From the 21st of October 2023, the statutory close season for all males will be removed, meaning that male deer of all species may be shot all year round. From the 1st of November, those that possess a night license and are specifically authorised to do so may use thermal imaging equipment and night vision scopes for the taking of deer at night. From the 1st of November 2023, the requirement of a minimum bullet weight to shoot the large species of deer, red, seeker and fallow, will be reduced from 100 grains to 80 grains. Whilst the amendments to the required bullet weight and the use of night vision are of course sensible, it seems that other elements of the new legislation are out of touch with what I believe is the popular consensus. I'm referring specifically to the abolition of the statutory close season for male deer. Not only is this, in my opinion, ill-conceived, but it may also prove to be counterproductive to the intentions of the Scottish Government to reduce overall deer numbers. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Even the most basic understanding of population dynamics should equip you with an appreciation that shooting males has almost no impact on the overall population of deer. One male can serve as many as 25 females. And so unless you get to grips with the breeding population, then you will have almost no impact on the total population. Why might it prove to be counterproductive? Well, this is because when some deer managers should be getting on with the task of reducing females, they may now instead elect to shoot a male. Picture the scenario. A professional stalker in Scotland is guiding a paying client onto a red deer during a cold December morning. After a long stalk in the cold, the stalking party come across a group of stags. Does the stalker allow his client to shoot one of those stags? Something that will most likely result in a greater fee and an early bath? Or does he press on in search of hinds? Previous legislation required that the stalker press on in search of females, thereby reducing the breeding population. The new legislation does not. Finally, the legislation also makes the mistake of lumping all species of deer into the problem category. Are roe deer a serious problem on most Scottish estates? I suspect that they are not, yet the native roebuck from which many professional stalkers derive a meagre income may now be shot devoid of antler, thereby further diminishing the financial return that may be made from managing deer professionally, just at a time when the Scottish Government require more deer managers. Regrettably, I suspect that this ill-considered legislation in Scotland may set a precedent and pave the way for similar changes in England and Wales, which are currently being deliberated by DEFRA. Albeit for now, I'll reserve comment on the outcome of that consultation. A glimmer of hope lies with the common sense of Scottish deer managers who, just because the legislation permits it, do not have to shoot males all year around, but may elect to designate self-imposed close seasons of their own. October is my favourite time of year to be stalking. It's a shame that October 2023 is tainted by these ill-considered amendments to legislation. At any rate, it's important that as deer stalkers we comply and remain up to date with the law and relevant legislation that affects what we do. As one of the UK's leading trading providers of deer stalking qualifications, and now as an accredited trainer for the Forestry Commission, Forestry and Arboriculture Training Fund, we will be updating our training material to include the new legislation. This will include the necessary amendments to the Lantra-approved Proficient Deer Stalking Certificate Level 1. 
PDS1. Thanks for listening, and I hope that you'll share your own thoughts on the new legislation in the comments below. Thank you.